I want to welcome you to His Word Lives Ministry, our Bible time and prayer time today. We're in the book of Ephesians in chapter 1, verses 11 and 12 today. We've been looking at how God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ has blessed the believers with all spiritual blessings. Today we're going to look at the spiritual blessing of being an inheritance for God. Let's go ahead and look at that scripture now. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ. We see here where the Apostle Paul continues on in listing us as believers being spirit, having spiritual blessings bestowed upon us from God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ. Verse 11 starts out with saying, In whom also we have obtained an inheritance. This is saying that all believers in heaven and on earth are made an inheritance for God. God the Father, God the his Son, Jesus the Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. All believers are God's inheritance or God's treasure. Uh, isn't it nice to know and think of yourself as a treasure of God's, as a treasure of God's inheritance? You might say, well, how is this a spiritual blessing for us? We're special objects of his love, of his, uh, of his care, and of his provisions. We're like the apple of his eye. He loves the believer. He cares for the believer, and he provides for the believer. What a spiritual blessing this is to be an inheritance for God. His people are his heritage. Let's look further into this scripture. He says, being predestined according to the purpose of him. God has always, even in eternity past, had a desire for believers to be his inheritance. He, he planned this all along, and it was his purpose for believers to be his inheritance. Let's go on further. The scripture says, Who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Uh, God, God will make all things, Jews and Gentiles and believers and unbelievers and nature and all of creation come together under Jesus Christ as his plan all along. <clears throat> the scripture says in verse 12 that we should be to the praise and of his glory. The purpose of us being an inheritance for him is that, that we should glorify him and praise him as our father, as our Lord and our Savior, and as the spirit that comes inside of us and leads and guides us. We should praise God for all of his glory and perfection and care and love and provisions for us as his inheritance. Praise God this morning for this spiritual blessing. Praise God for his word and us understanding as believers we are an inheritance for God. A believer is one that believes that Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay the penalty for their sins. And they ask God to forgive them for their sins and tell him that they believe Jesus is the Son of God. And they sh that person shall be saved. Won't you come and be a believer today and receive the spiritual blessing of being an inheritance for God? I hope you enjoyed the message today and the and the. Uh, uplifting of knowing that we are a have received the spiritual blessing and we are an inheritance for God. 
I'd like to ask prayer this morning as we go into our prayer time for Laura, for Laura Black. I'd like to pray for her and her family and that God would remove hindrances that prevent them from following him. And I'd like to also have a special prayer request for her grandson, Alex, that he comes to know Jesus and be saved in his life. Kim Holcomb asked prayer for her sister uh, as she's in the hospital, uh, has had neck uh, fusions, and has a, uh, a bad infection. And we want to pray for Kim's sister. Terry Apple asked prayer for herself and her fiancé and uh, uh, her fiancé's work schedule, and she has a special unspoken prayer request for him. Pina Stidman asked prayer for herself and for wisdom with her prayer ministry. Jackie Fain asked prayer for herself and a special unspoken. Cheryl Smith, I'd like to ask prayer for her. She's recently been laid off, and she, uh, we want to also pray for a family situation that she's dealing with. And she's just in a time of discouragement. And let's pray for Cheryl this morning. Daniel Livingood, I'd like to pray for him. And he says, praise God, and things are going well for him. And he's just uplifting and praising God in our prayer time today. Lee Rosenberg, I'd like to ask prayer for her, for the home that she desires, uh, that God would open the door and allow her to have a husband. And I'd like to also pray for her health and finances today. Oldie Wami Kolawoli, I'd like to ask prayer for my friend, that he finds work and for his finances and that God would encourage him during this time. <clears throat> Nikita Justin, I'd like to ask prayer for her, and she prays to visit so that we could pray together someday. If it be the Lord's will, I hope that that happens someday. And we want to pray for Nikita and her fellowship in this ministry and desire to come and visit with us and pray with us. <clears throat> Tanya Mejra, Tanya Mejra, I'd like to pray for her, and she asks prayer for her family. <clears throat> Phyllis Hensley, I'd like to pray for her, and she has an unspoken prayer request for a friend. Tammy Anderson and Tommy Anderson, I'd like to pray for Tasha as a uh, uh, we want to pray that her, the tumor that she has is shrinking and she's going to the doctor and they're going to be looking at this situation. And let's lift up Tasha to the Lord this morning. Brenda Holsom back. I'd like to pray for her and I'd like to pray that God would help her during the time of her mourning, uh, Tracy passing. And let's just lift up and, and have... Uh, uh, sympathy and, and prayer for Brenda during this time of mourning. I'd like to pray for Janice Lands in a, a particular situation in deliverance that God is helping her with. And let's pray for Janice today. <clears throat> Tanya Allen asks prayer for her dad. And let's lift up her dad to Jesus and his help. Let's pray for him today. Now you lift up your prayer request, you viewers. I ask you and encourage you to pray to Jesus. If you're an unbeliever, pray to Jesus that he would save you. Just admit that you're a sinner and ask him to forgive you for your sins and tell him that you believe that he is the Son of God and what he did on the cross and he'll save you. And you'll be a part of his inheritance as we studied in the, and preached in the message this morning. Lift up your prayers to Jesus. Dear Jesus, we come to you in prayer. We thank you, God, for being able to approach you because of our Savior that gives us access into the throne room of 
heaven. We bring these prayer requests that you've heard me mention of. The people that have opened up their hearts and prayed to you through sending in these requests to the ministry. And the prayers that are going up from the viewers, God, we lift those up to you and you know them and, and you hear the hearts of the viewers this day, God. And Lord, we thank you and praise you and just glorify you for your perfectness, your holiness. And most of all, God, we pray to you for your love that you have for us and care and the provisions that you make for us and the deliverance and the healing and the guidance and the chastising and all that we have in you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. I want to remind you, if you want to watch a past video or prayer time or sermon time, go to the ministry page on the website and just click on the video library and it has all of our messages there on video. Praise God and have a wonderful weekend. In the name of Jesus. Thank you.